How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a really, really easy install that is relatively inexpensive, but it's actually going to drastically change the inside of your Jeep. First step of this install process is to locate the evap canister. The yoke will take a little bit of gentle persuasion. So these tabs do not want to come off easily. I love my Jeep, but if you own one, you know that the dome lights are really, really dim. And at night, it doesn't really light up the cabin. Uh, the rear light actually faces forward uh, into the back seat. So for me, I don't really get a lot of light into the back cargo area. So today we're gonna fix that. We're gonna be installing some LED dome lights as well as a lift gate light bar. So to begin with, I'm gonna show you all the parts that uh, come in the kit as well as the tools that you're gonna need to uh, complete this install. So this is the lift gate light bar. It uh, comes with a remote and an RF uh, switch if you wanna use the remote and you can wire it into your dome light. If you don't want to wire it into your dome light, it comes with a cigarette lighter adapter that will plug into the back of your Jeep. This allows you to uh, use it for however long you want. The good thing is you could use both and it is a quick and easy disconnect. It also comes with some zip ties, all the adhesives, and the wire taps that you're gonna need in order to hook it into your dome light. So there is no cutting of wires, it just taps into the wire. These are going to be your LED dome lights. So you got two for the front and one for the rear light. The tools that you're gonna need is a little box cutter because you do have to expose uh, some wire. It's covered up with uh, some electrical tape and whatnot. You're gonna need a little screwdriver, a glass cleaner, and some form of a degreaser. Now this does come with a alcohol wipe, but uh, it's just a little one. So if you want, you can get some glass cleaner and a degreaser as well as some paper towels. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the Jeep. We're gonna be installing the LED dome lights first, and then we'll come back to the back and get the lift gate light installed. So to begin with, we're gonna replace the front dome lights. As you can see, it's on, but they are not very bright. LEDs are just in nature a whole lot brighter, so you're gonna get a whole lot more light. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and show you how to get this cover off. Uh, you can pull it from the back. It's just held on with a little clip, and then make sure you pull down. So this is the back of the clip, and then you have two clips up front pull down in the back a little bit and then pull down in the front. It'll come off, no issues. Okay, so one thing that I forgot to mention, these little lights do get really hot. Go ahead and do yourself a favor and grab a set of needle nose pliers. Now you don't need to put a lot of pressure on them. You just need to go ahead and get them out. So they just slide in uh, with the little fin on the back. So they do just insert just like they pulled out. So. Go ahead and insert it into the slot. Lights up, and then you'll do the second one. Okay, we got the second one in. Now this will go back on the same exact way that it came off. So you put the front in first, line up the holes, and pop it back in. Now you don't need to force it. It's gonna go in relatively easy. Let's go ahead and hop in the back of the Jeep and I'll show you just how easy it is to swap that light out. Okay, so for the back light, you're gonna need your screwdriver for this one. Uh, on the driver's side, if you look underneath here where you can push it in and out, there's a little bit of a uh, click. So you don't have to shove it all the way in there like super far, just have to get it in there and push that little latch back and it will slide out just like that. Let's go ahead and pull the light out and then you're going to replace the light with an LED. Make sure that the lights are facing down because these only have um, LEDs on one side. And then you're just going to push it back into place and hopefully there you go the uh, led lights up and you're good to go 
Okay, so we're now in the back of the Jeep. Uh, this is where we're gonna be installing the, the lift gate light bar. So make sure when you do this, the adhesive is gonna go along this lip right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and test fit the light to make sure there's no fitment issues. And it looks to be good to me. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and degrease this, uh, this surface right here. Make sure that when you put this on there, the power cord goes to the passenger side. That is where the dome light uh, wiring is, as well as the uh, cigarette lighter plug-in in the rear of your Jeep. So you're gonna go ahead and pull the adhesive off. Before you put it all the way down, make sure you have it exactly where you want it. And then press down firmly on it. Now we're going to go ahead and run the power cable up the side over here and uh, then we're going to snake it down around over here. So you're going to make sure your glass is clean. So I'm going to go ahead and get some glass cleaner over there and wipe it down. So the kit comes with eight of these wire holders and they have 3M adhesive tape on the back. We're gonna run these up the side of the glass over here. That way we can run the wire and then we're gonna clamp it into place. Now we're just gonna run the wire in them and snap them into place. Okay, as you can see, we got the wire ran all the way up here. You do have this um, power cable right here uh, for your defroster. You can go ahead and zip tie the, uh, the wire. And the kit does come with a plastic cable manager. We're just gonna slide that on there. It will clean up the look a little bit more, make it look a little bit more professional. Okay, so we're gonna run this wire down the side of the hard top right here. And I already went ahead and degreased this section as well. You're gonna wanna make sure it's really clean. That way the adhesive tape and uh, everything actually sticks to this. Okay, now we're just gonna run the wire and clip it into place. The next step is that we're gonna tap into the dome light wiring. That way when you do open the lift gate, it in fact uh, turns on. Uh, one of the great things about this is it's got quick detach uh, points. So the power, if you want to remove your hard top, you're still able to, you just undo the quick detach and you're gonna be good to go, you just remove it. So let's go ahead and expose the wiring here. I'll show you how easy that is. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get a screwdriver and you're gonna wanna pop the plastic covering for the seatbelt retainer off. Once you get that off, you're just gonna pop this back section off right here. It is held in with a couple clips, so go ahead and just give it a nice little tug. You shouldn't break anything, just don't be overzealous with it and you should be good to go. Then we're going to unzip the roll cage lining and expose the wire. So here is where the wire is going to be. We're going to take our little box cutter and cut away this little tape area. That way we can get uh, down to the wire. Now it is thin, so don't go crazy with it. Like I said, Make sure you're careful with these wires. They're very thin. Uh, the tape is very sticky on there. Just take your time. Don't uh, get too crazy uh, and don't cut the wires. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go ahead and splice them back together. So there's gonna be three wires here. There's gonna be two yellow. One of them's going to have a, a tracer down the side of it. And that is your positive terminal for uh, your dome light. And then there's gonna be a black wire, which is always going to be ground. Now since we are working with electrical, I don't think there's going to be any issues here, but I did go ahead and I disconnected the, um, the negative terminal from the battery. And then once we got that in there on that side, we're going to go ahead and put our positive lead in there. And then we are going to fold it over on itself. If you have a pair of uh, needle nose, go ahead and make sure it's good and seated. And don't tug on it too hard, but it should not move. 
Now I went ahead and cut the ground wire a little bit shorter. That way it gives us more room for the uh, ground tap. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on next. So now we're just gonna go ahead and zip everything back up, clean this up a little bit, and then we'll plug the light in, make sure it all works. So the sun's gone down, it's pretty dark outside, and I just want to show you exactly how bright these lights are. So I'm gonna open up the Jeep. And it is insanely bright. Like this light gives off so much light. If you're an overlander and you have like a tailgate table, then this is gonna be perfect for you. You're gonna have plenty of light at night. Uh, the inside of the Jeep itself is a lot brighter now with the LED lights and the dome lights as well. As you can tell, this was a fairly easy install from start to finish. I would say it probably took about 30 minutes. Uh, it doesn't take too terribly long. Like I said, this is a cheap or relatively cheap uh, upgrade that you can do. All in all, I'd say between the liftgate light and the uh, dome LED lights that you're probably looking around 70, 75, maybe $80 max to do it all. It drastically changes how much light is in the interior of your Jeep. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.